Shop Wednesday, everybody. Hope all is well. We're clicking along here in the shop and doing good. Getting close to Christmas, and I know a lot of you guys are out there working and busting your honeys in the shops. And uh, keep doing it, man. Get at it. We're gonna make a lot of people happy by doing what you do. So, uh, especially Santa. Y'all are his elves. Keep trucking. What I'm gonna do this morning is, is share some tips on the jeweler saw. Jeweler saw is a really cool part of the shop that, that you can create some really cool things and that no other way to do it. So. Anyhow, I'm going to show you my setup, show you my saw, show you my saw, um, give you the blades, and, and uh, away we go. So, here it is. Here's the area. This is where I'm, I'm a cutting it out. First of all, you see the saws up there. I use the new concept saws. Uh, my buddy Jim Edwards gave me those, and man, they really do work. I used this one for a long time, and... Uh, Man, it really worked good too, not a problem. I like a little heavier saw, they make light ones. Uh, and that's one thing about these new concepts, they're pretty dang light, but they're extremely rigid. This lattice work that you see here makes them really rigid. You don't want any bouncing uh, with your jeweler saw when you're cutting through. The blades I use, I got them all set up here um, to explain the different sizes I have. I have a six aught, a three aught, a one aught, I think this is a one, and then this is a six. It's a great big old honker that, that sure enough cuts good in, in steel and, and uh, when I'm doing something thick. This little six aught deal, back before 40 hit, I used to be able to see those blades. Can y'all see it? Look at it vibrating, little bitty booger. I used to be able to see those teeth with the naked eye. I can't even hardly see them with my optimizers on now. But man, they work good and cut really fine. Um, these are laser gold, by the way. Laser gold blades from Rio Grande is where I get those. Greg, the mentor, Greg Darnell told me that's the only kind to use that's the best and I've never tried anything else. So in my opinion, they're still the best. Another thing we use to get from Rio Grande is Burr Life. Um, it's a lubricant used to, to keep things slick on the, on the, on the saw. Um, let me... See if I can give you a little demonstration deal here. See if we can get this set up. Maybe that works. So, this little plate that you see here is a piece of 3 8 plate. I got plumbing fixtures, parts welded to it. It wiggles, it, it spins like this, but it's extremely rigid this way. Not much vibration to it. Well, maybe if I wiggle my whole table it is. So then, I use a, I use the saw, hold it like this, and I hold my silver, whatever it is I'm cutting, right here. You want to keep the blade straight up and down, the saw straight up and down, and you're and you're it, you're not pushing all the time, like you're not doing that. I'm pushing on the downstroke. Use a little life like this, and what this allows you, bird life, what this allows you to do, you're gonna hear me go fast as I turn a corner. Keep the saw straight up and down. Now I wanna go again. And I kinda of use my hand um, to turn the, I'm using my left hand to turn my material around as I go around following lines. That's it, that's the basics of the whole deal. It's not hard. Um, takes a little while to learn to keep your saw straight up and down and not get wiggling. And, and uh, I certainly have before, but it uh, works good. You can cut any darn thing you want out in, 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 with a jeweler saw. Get a good blade that, that works good for you with the thickness of the material. The thicker the material, the bigger the blade. Smaller the hole, smaller the blade you have to use. I drill little holes in, in my silver or steel that I want to cut out and thread my, my blade through it and away I go. Hope this was helpful. We're getting close to Christmas, as I said. Merry Christmas to all you guys, ladies, gentlemen. Have a good weekend. Have a good week. Have a good Christmas. We'll see y'all soon. Adios.